have to do this part now take what is that let me take this one let me take let me all of these things okay now what is that static static hash set is equals to null okay or else just declare it okay now let me import okay import java dot util dot star okay now s equals to new hash set okay now here create an object for a class now observe here s dot s dot put off s dot put off what is that a okay added added and i'm not printing anything here observe here do we have any hash code method within this class of class a no we are not at all having any hash code method now now if i don't write this method if i don't override this method which hash code method will be executed for this a object which class hash code method object class hash code method in the i mean indirectly that is by default this class is child to object class object class is having this hash code method so at that time whatever the address let it be 0x abc ee okay and this address will be converted into integer value and this value will be treated to save this object into this hash integrated data structure getting if i don't overwrite hash code method of object class will be executed if i overwrite then this hash code method will be executed first uh, let me don't write this hash code method okay let me execute so that uh, you will get nothing output will be nothing guys okay output will be nothing if i overwrite this will be the output let it be a second scenario this one as what first scenario just observe okay just observe okay now now what will be the output see here same code now let me compile compilation what is that s dot put okay let it be okay observe here observe here i have done the mistake observe here it is not put method it is add method okay it is add method okay it is what add method okay it's my mistake okay observe guys okay put method is meant for mapping okay i'm sorry okay it is for add for hashing related data structures uh, i mean if it is i mean this hash it is uh, related to set interface okay i'm sorry it's my mistake it is add method than that nothing observe here okay let me put here as what add method okay let me put here as what add a method now compile this one okay compile this piece of code successful compilation this is not the compile time errors okay now observe this part now let me run this one okay let me run this one yes successful hmm successful insertion we are not having anything here to display okay we are not having anything here to display now let me overwrite hash code method okay hash code method okay observe this part okay now return what is that double line within this i am going to override our i mean hash code method overriding will be as what in this way okay and call okay now here this method will be called and we are having one debug statement as what and call now observe here internally we are not at all calling hash code method but jvm will call so that's why you are going to see this one explicitly are we calling anywhere this hash code method no internally it will call observe let me compile and let me run this one once again observe i am call who is calling this method jvm getting guys jvm is calling did i call anywhere like a dot hash code no i didn't call anywhere such type of code is not at all available but internally jvm is calling getting that's why you are getting the output as what i am call getting if you want let me put some and differentiation things okay observe here okay observe here okay observe who is calling this method our jvm internally okay now now this is the thing that's why 
hash code method is highly recommended to override within our class okay now observe here observe here observe here one small important point okay we are having a string class getting a string class getting a string class and some of the wrapper classes in our java okay we will discuss about string class and all wrapper classes also okay observe in all okay in all the wrapper classes getting in all the wrapper classes and in string class okay in string class this hash code method is overridden getting overridden why why means simple thing to avoid duplicates okay to avoid what duplicates within the hashing related data structure okay this is very uh, specific thing what is hash code uh, hash code is what equivalent or an approximate value for an address okay an approximate conversion of our address is what an hash code okay and what is the reference variable means we don't know that can be address conversion or hash code conversion to the hmm, that is a string Forming, getting that will be our reference strictly nobody can get the reference exactly you cannot get anything address or hash code exactly at our java getting it is not like mid-level programming language everything is what hidden thing you have to understand those things with good pictures okay now and what is the other one internally jvm will use this hash code of a particular class to mm, class to save that object within the hashing related data structure and other one what is that means if you are not overriding hash code method in our class then hash code method of object class will be executed what is the implementation of hash code method of object class means strictly it is a simple thing address conversion address conversion of an object to the integer value it is a native method having implementation in c c programming language you think so that is an uh, internal conversion of our address getting so if you are not overriding hash code method and if you call any hash code method it will you uh, it will you object class hash code method implementation value as the output to us we have seen that example in earlier case okay and what is this it is uh, it is a uh, overridden that is this hash code method overridden in all the wrapper classes that is integer byte character long float double all these are what wrapper classes even boolean okay we are having boolean also and also in string class this hash code method overridden it is to to avoid duplicates okay is overridden is overridden to to avoid getting to avoid duplicates duplicates within the hashing related hashing related data structures getting hashing related data structures okay now now observe now observe we are going to discuss something related to to string method and hash code method okay what is that to string method and hash code method what i mean when the to string method will be executed internally hmm, internally if you pass any reference variable as an argument to system dot out dot println method that is println method then to string method will be executed by our jvm by taking that as an advantage we are overriding to string method to give object data right now let us see some combinations with this hash code method and to string method okay now 